Hey there Taurus. Welcome to my channel, Soul Light Hypnotherapy. My name is Kirsten and I have your love dynamic for the month of April 2017 all laid out. I apologize that this is so late. Um, it's been a crazy month and it's still kind of crazy. Maybe it's because of all these planets, planetary stuff going on. I don't really understand astrology but I do know that I feel the retrogrades. Anyway, um, please make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, this is a general reading. Not all messages will apply to you. Please check out your moon sign or your rising sign um, for further messages. And uh, if you'd like a personalized reading, my information is in the description box below. Please contact me for not only uh, tarot or oracle card readings, but I am also available to do long distance Reiki and um, hypnosis as well. All right, so let's get started. I am trying to shorten my readings a little bit, so <laughs> I still ended up with all these crazy cards, so I guess I just can't help it. So let's start with the first column. We've got the control card, this um, hand that's holding the little puppet here, all the strings. Below that, we have the Five of Swords and the Four of Hearts from playing card deck. So, um, you're, you may be feeling controlled, Virgo, by someone or others in your environment. Or you may be feeling that something is controlling you and you're trying to get the control back. As well, um, you're trying to practice, some of you are trying to practice letting situations just happen naturally. Um, letting them develop naturally without trying to sway it or direct it from your end. That's for some of you. Some of you may not feel quite the same way about your partner or your person of interest in April. You just don't know what it is they're doing right now. You're, there's There's some sort of lack of communication. Or you don't know where they're coming from. Some of you are phoning your feelings in. Your feelings are maybe fake or you're pretending to care when you really don't. You may not be communicating the full story to someone. Or they're not communicating the full story to you. It's hard to tell. This is a general reading. You know your situation. But quite frankly, whatever it is, you're kind of over it. Or you're telling yourself that you are. You just don't see the point in putting any more effort into someone or something or to a situation. And then for some of you, you haven't given up on a relationship, even though the person that you're interested in doesn't seem to be returning your interest or communicating with you. So there might be a mental effort that some of you Virgos are making to compel this person to come back or to raise their interest in you again. But this compelling energy, this mental compelling, described by the Five of Swords here and this control card, it's telling me that that's not you're not using the most ethical of methods. So, you know, you guys figure out that one. This section here also tells me that there's still an attraction to your person of interest or to your partner. But it seems like the progress in the relationship has been um, stalled or halted due to Doubt, confusion, or indecision on your part or theirs. Someone could be um, acting overprotective of themselves. You know, they're trying to protect themselves. Maybe this is you. Maybe this is them. Maybe you're both doing this. It's preventing you from having progress in your relationship. Maybe these uh, actions are caused by past betrayal or um, painful, unrequited feelings of love that you suffered or they suffered. 
because it could come from either one of you or both. So there's a mistrust that you are placing in your partner or that you have for your partner or that they have for you. But these cards are telling me if you still care about this person, you still want to work things out, you still want the relationship to flourish, and if it's you that's holding back due to your um, painful feelings that you suffered in the past, then you will need to reach out, Virgo. You're going to need to reach out and assure your partner that you still care. Because with this communication card in reverse in the center top, I feel like there's no communication. So you're going to have to reassure them that you still care. The problem maybe is that you're questioning whether or not you still do. I, I think you still do. I think you still do. So if you do, then you're going to have to be more open because right now the way you're both behaving isn't getting you anywhere. Now, to the um, in the right column, we have the brunette female. Oh, excuse me. I'm using the Will of the Year Tarot deck and the Amira's Love Oracle deck, as well as playing cards, with an oracle um, reading at the end from the Whispers of Love Oracle deck, okay? So in the um, right section or column, we have the brunette female, the Page of Wands, the Page of Swords, reversed, the Death card, and the Four of Spades. This is kind of telling me where your partner is, who they are, where they're coming from. So you, Virgo, may be dealing with uh, someone who has a who is a brunette or who has dark hair, someone who may be um, olive-toned or bronze-toned complexion, tan complexion, light skin. And this person is significant in your thoughts right now in April. The Four of Spades says that your person of interest um, has been going through a lot of difficulties, a lot of things, causing them stress and anxiety. If you think that you've been feeling like not putting any effort into a relationship, then they're feeling that um, times three because of these... Um, these things that they're going through right now. Some of them may be going through a great transformation, an inner transformation. The world may be transforming. Something about their, their, their life is transforming. And it's difficult. It's not an easy transition. Um, they may perceive uh, communication or dealings with you as... Um, just potential to add more to their frustration and anxiety. So that may be um, why some of them have cut you off in some way. Maybe they heard something, or maybe you said something, or acted in some way that made them distrust you. And then some of them feel lied to or betrayed to by you. Some of them may have felt or are feeling that you are all talk and not enough action. Sorry about the dog. My dog is telling the mailman not to come any closer than the mailbox. So please excuse my doggy. Anyway, as I was saying, um, some of them may be feeling that you're all talk and not enough action, Virgo. So they're just doing their thing right now. That's why you haven't heard from them. They're doing their thing right now. They think that you might add to, to their frustration in some way. They're trying to figure out some things on their own. They need some solitude, I guess. Um, you have two pages here. You have a page of wands and a reverse page of swords. So I think some of you, Virgos, might be dealing with two people or have two people, more than one person on your mind. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, 
or an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And then for some, specifically, you're dealing with a Scorpio with this death card here. I feel like this person, this person you're interested in, this partner or whoever is being represented here, I feel like this person doesn't really know what they want right now, but they do enjoy your company. You are an inspiration to them in some way, although they feel you're a lot of talk and not enough action. Um... There's kind of an off and on feeling that I get from them. One minute they're on, next minute they're off, you know. So this person can play some, some manipulative games um, or maybe act immature in uh, relationships because the pages indicate immature behavior, especially reverse uh, page of swords. And you may be fearing that their intentions are to take advantage of you in some way. Some of you, I see, are fearful of being taken advantage of for your money. Or for your skill. Or talent. Or something. Some potential. There's a lot of suspicions here. Suspicions on your part. Suspicions on their part. They have suspicions about your motives as well. I do feel like this person needs to have control over their relationships, over their romantic relationships. That's part of their nature. And they may have, with you, found out that they can't have that control. And, and that's added or created um, the frustration with you. In, in, in their dealing with you. It's just frustrating for them. And with this page of swords reversed, they may not be holding the most positive of thoughts about you right now. You know, due to the poor communication between you or the lack of communication. Um, so they're kind of thinking the worst about you right now. They may be thinking that you're playing games too as well. So you think they're playing games, um, or they may be playing games with you, manipulative games with you, but they think that you're playing games as well. There seems to be a rivalry like this Five of Swords. Um, you know, one of the definitions for the Five of Swords is rivalry. There seems to be a rivalry between the two of you, a one-upmanship or a rivalry. Um, and you're doing the same things to one another. You're both playing games, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. You're both holding back for your own personal uh, reasons. Okay, so now into the center here, um, the center column, we have the uh, reverse communications, the reverse five of hearts, the reverse eight of clubs, and the ace of pentacles. And um, this is kind of like how you're interacting and the advice the outcome for the month of April in your love life. So I see that there's a failure to communicate, which we've already established, between you and your partner, um, or a pullback from communication. For some, there's it's even gone as far as a silent treatment. And um, maybe that... Maybe that um, poor communication is going to come to an end with this death card here. Maybe that will come to an end in April. Let's see. Let's see. Let me read the rest of these cards and see what happens. A five of hearts reverse says you, uh, your mistrust for your partner or for your per person of interest is still present in April. You may be feeling some self-pity or sorry for yourself or sorry that you wasted your time, your effort, or your money. You thought that this... Um, this situation would play out a lot differently than it has. But I don't see you secluding yourself or, you know, becoming a recluse. You're going to call your friends. You're going to get out. You're going to stay active. And all the while, you're going to take a wait-and-see attitude about this person. That you're, dealing with. you're going to wait and see. Um, sorry, the dog. I can't do anything about it. You're going to wait and see. 
um, if they're going to call you or if they're going to reach out and talk to you. So the advice here, as stated before, is that they need reassurance, maybe more than you do. Uh, they need reassurance, but you're hesitant to give that as, um, because if you do, you kind of see that as you're relinquishing your control to them and making yourself vulnerable to them. Because you're not stupid. You know that this person likes to control their relationships. Well, so do you. So you're in the self-protective mode. I don't think you want to put, put yourself in that position and make yourself vulnerable to them. Yeah, so I don't think you're willing to do that. Um, with the Eight of Clubs reversed here, I don't see you risking um, putting yourself in a vulnerable position, um, which is a shame because you have the Ace of Pentacles or the Ace of Coins as the last card. And this says that this relationship has a good concrete potential to be something, to, you know, to be significant. If you two could just work together rather than um, against one another, stop being rivals and be partners. This Ace of Coins also um, could be saying for some of you that you've decided to wait for a more um, prosperous time to reach out to your partner. You know, maybe you're aware, yeah, there's potential here. Um, you're thinking about it, but you don't think the time is quite right yet. So you're going to wait. for the right time. And then some of you, you secretly don't really want to give uh, this person too much of your time right now because there are some new projects or opportunities that you want to focus on right now that are coming in for you in April. Um, and for some, a new love interest may arrive near the end of April or early May. Or the love interest, the partner represented by the brunette female and the two pages could come back around around that time, the end of April or early May. I don't know who's going to reach out to who. But um, this could definitely lead to something more serious at that time if you're both open with each other and willing to discuss where it is you're coming from and what it is you want. Whether or not you can get that together with one another. You need to discuss that. You need to be open and, and truthful. You know. So there's a lot of indecision. Control and indecision at the same time. Vibrating through your reading, Virgo. So I pulled some clarification cards. For... Um, for this potential the Ace of Coins represents. And I got the Six of Diamonds and the King of Diamonds reversed. What these cards are telling me is that um, there could be serious romantic potential or romantic involvement that you're, le that you're leading up to that. You're coming to that. You know, like I said, around late April, early May, or into May. Um, serious involvement with someone new or serious involvement with this return um, partner um, it could lead to moving into one uh, moving in together you know for some of you as well um, that could you know be be with both a new potential and a returning potential um, some of you um, need to avoid though with this king of diamonds reverse being stubborn and, and not being objective in your negotiations. You might um, not be willing to give up or relinquish uh, what you feel would be too much control to the other. But it will be necessary in order for you to um, enjoy the fruits of or the blessings that this Ace of Coins is trying to bring you. Everyone should feel like they win. You know? Everyone should feel like they're that they're winning. Um, no one should feel like they're getting over on the other. So um, that being said, also this Ace of Coins um, outside of love could mean that um, you 
uh, might be investing in some property or um, might be closing some business deal or um, signing contracts, going through negotiations. Um, something new could be coming in for you in that respect. And um, that this, this, you know, deal or investment or contract negotiations are going very well. But it's not going to be finalized in April. It's, it's, it's still going to be in process at the end of April. There's still more to be agreed upon. There's still more to be discussed. And um, that, that, that last statement can be applied to your love life as well. There's still more to be agreed upon. And there is still more to be discussed. So that's your reading, Virgo. I hope that you enjoyed it. I did pull an oracle card for you. And I, got the, um, and I used the Whispers of Love deck. And I got the Speak the Language of Love card. And I will read that to you. It says, Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. A positive attitude works wonders in creating more love around us. Allow yourself to really express positive words. Use only wholesome words when speaking to others or even about yourself. Be conscious of any language that you may use out of habit. And be willing to release this to create more positive energy around you and with your partner. Doing this will bring more love to you. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. I will see you in May. Many blessings to you, Virgo. Bye.